So I'm going to run through the basic setup that I use for gilt head bremen. All right, it's so simple. It's almost the same as I use for floundering. Okay, so I've got a carp rod. This is um, a Fox two and three quarter pound test carp rod. And my rig is a three way swivel, directly tied on by the main line. This main line is 15 pound. Then I have my little lead, which as you all know, is a famous watch lead and then off the freeway swivel I've got my trace which is 12 pound with a little stop knot here made out of Gemini rig tubing a couple of sequences so when I put the bait on I slide this down like so and when I cast even if it's only a flick it just stops the bait sliding up a snood and then on here I have a size 2 Cox and Raw Chino really sharp these are lovely for get wet bremen absolutely lovely okay that's basically the setup the reel is a bait runner as you can see beautiful little reel i've got two of them exactly the same this is a 5000 the other one's a 5000 s so uh that's basically it that's the setup that i use for get wet bremen and to be honest with you guys it's the exact same setup i use for floundering in the winter and uh they say is it successful well it only is if you catch fish but you can't guarantee you're going to catch fish but we do try you know we all try my bait now i will show you what bait i've got supplied by my local tackle shop team new angling um from andy if you want bait from Seaview Angling guys, what you do is you phone up and just book it. And I've got some, a ton of lug, look at that, look beautiful, beautiful. I find that the lug worm is just as good as fishing with crab. So what I like to do, if you've got peeler crab, is cut the peeler into two, if they're small or if they're big into four. Put one lug worm up to the stop knot or the sequence and then just put a little bit of crab on whip that on just underneath but keep the hook point proud and flick that out and that's how I, uh, that's how i would bait up we might even show you that in a minute anyway okay so we'll keep you updated throughout the session let's hope we get some fish And uh, it didn't seem like a gilt head bring because normally a gilt head bring just smash a rod over. This is a couple of gentle tugs, and uh, it's a bream. Oh, gotta watch these, they're very spiky. It's a red bream. I'll tell you what, I need a cloth. Andy, can you chop me a cloth? Cheers, mate, because they've got spikes underneath. He's going to cop me otherwise. Look at that little beauty there, look. See that? Absolutely cracking fish. I've had a few of these over the years, but uh, I don't know, I'd say not even half a dozen, so I'm well happy with that. But I caught him on a little cox and roll chinu. So I've got him right in the scissors. So it'd be easy to get the hook out and I want to get him back anyway so get a few photos of my main man here and then we'll put him back mm -hmm. 